Dirk Kutsia was a prominent figure in a covert South African police hit squad unit that led the apartheid government's war against liberation movements. His name first emerged in the late 1980s through a series of media revelations about covert apartheid operations. Kutsia was involved in numerous assassinations, including that of Durban human rights lawyer Griffiths Ngenge in November 1981. He was granted amnesty by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in 1997 for the murder. The TRC said it was still unclear who gave Kutsia the order to kill activists like Mnenge. Some believe he did not reveal anything that he knew, and as a result families of victims of the unit will never know exactly what happened or where their relatives are buried. But a former TRC commissioner didn't mince his words, insisting Kutsia attended the TRC briefings simply to save his skin. I've been brought up to <clears throat> never to speak ill of the dead, but Derek Kutsia represents the scum of the earth. He's a person who, who came to the TRC because he had been convicted. He's a person who broke the news about what he had been involved in, particularly in the murder of uh, Griffiths Mutange. Others now say Kutsia later dedicated himself to working for the new South Africa. He came back and continuously working with the government of the African National Congress in power. And we gained from his uh, uh, experience or the background when he was an apartheid spy. Kutsia fled to Lusaka after making key revelations about the hit squads. A parcel bomb was later sent to him in Zambia, but he never received it. In 1997, Eugene de Kock, a former commander of Flakplas, was convicted for Kutsia's attempted murder.